Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping Like a Girl, or welcome to If You Are New, I'm Natalie. Today we are at the Hive Life Conference in Tennessee that we've been all waiting for, at least I have. Um, so really excited to be here. And we're in Sevierville, I th Sevierville, something like that. Um, so excited to be here. We're going to kind of walk around, show you some of the vendors, some of the people around here. There's a lot of people here, so excited to meet all of you guys. Hopefully you were able to come. If not, uh, you could definitely come next year. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of walk around and show you a little bit on what's going on. So we're over here with the honey show. You can see all of the different colors. Somewhere in here is our honey, I'm not real sure. Um, so it's really exciting to see all the honey here and uh, yeah, really excited about it. Here are some of the ribbons that you can win for this honey show. So anyways, we'll uh, maybe put a picture in the end so you can see it a little bit better. But these are really nice and really excited. And hopefully I'll win one, but we'll see. Well, Don, we're finishing up the um, creaming process of the honey that we've been creaming for the last few days. Uh, we finally got around to where we can bottle this stuff, and uh, we've got several jars to fill. We have already sold all of our set honey that we brought here to the conference. So, having said that, um, anything that is bought from here on out will have to sit in the customer's hands. So. Thank you so much. This is a Lyson 36 gallon bottling tank forward slash creamer. So it's kind of like a three in one unit. You can decrystallize honey, you can bottle honey, and then also you can cream and bottle that type of honey. So it's a three in one for me. Uh, I needed something. If I was going to spend some money this year, I wanted to spend something on a product that would that I would use uh, on a regular basis. So. It's been a good move for me and it works out really well. As you can see, we did warm the creamed honey up to about 80 degrees so we could get it fluid enough to get it through the no drip valve. And that has no effect on this creamed honey whatsoever. Now we cream it at room temperature. So whatever room temperature is, is what we cream at. But you do have to warm it up if you want to get it out of the tank. Pour a few more. Absolutely. Are you just seeing if I'm going to make a mess? I am. <laughs> well, thank you for coming by. Thanks, Byron. I appreciate it. All right, so we're over here with Terry with Guardian Bee Apparel, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And really excited to be over here. We're going to be uh, talking a little bit about the jackets and stuff. But first, I want to ask you, how are you doing with the sales and everything at this conference? Outstanding. We have, uh, we've had way more sales than we expected. And uh, we have to apologize to some customers. We're probably going to be out of stock early this spring. Uh, by mid-February, we may be caught up with production. But uh, it's been wonderful. That's Way a more good than we thing, though, isn't it? Is oh, that... yeah, definitely. The, the, seeing the people was, was the best part, coming up and talking about how much they've enjoyed you know, the features and the suits. It's been great. Yeah, that's really good. Um, sorry, they're making fun of me over there, so I'm <laughs> trying not to look over there. But I'm um, glad that you're doing good. And I've talked a lot to a lot of people, and they 
I really only have good things to say about your guys' jackets. So I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, this is going to be one that I'm going to be taking home and really excited about it. And we're going to do a couple more videos on that for sure. So I'm not going to spoil too much. But yeah, really excited about it. And if you're going to get a beekeeping jacket, I definitely recommend these ones. Uh, if you haven't already, you definitely should. And so one thing I want to mention, just so you guys aren't a little confused, it doesn't come just like this. It does come with a veil. And so I want to talk about that. There's three different kinds here. So if you would, just like kind of explain the difference. Sure. So this was the original. We call it the easy access veil. It's a, a larger veil. It's very, very high level of protection. It's going to keep the bees about five inches from your face. Uh, it has the veil that opens, uh, allows the, the access to your face. This is our best seller. It's the more compact version of that. It's called the ProFit. Uh, a lot of more experienced beekeepers go with this one. It's uh, easier to do cutouts, get between studs and things like that. Um, by far the best seller. <clears throat> this is our newest one, uh, the round veil. You can't fully open it like you can these two, but you can reach in left or right side. Um, it looks like it might end up being the second best seller, but we're not there yet. Cool, so um, you got a nice option for here, and I think all of these are really great. I had something like this in my last jacket, but I'm gonna switch it up this time, and I'm going with this one, so I'm really excited about that. Can't wait to try it out. Like I said, we'll have some more videos. Definitely be promoting you guys, because like I said, they just have amazing jackets. So definitely check them out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for sure if you guys wanna go check them out. Uh, so thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, I appreciate you coming by. Yeah. We're over here with John Hill with Hillco, and I actually made a video with him not that long ago at the Iowa conference, which was really fun. Had a good time there. But we're going to talk about the bottling tank that we recently got. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it and what it does? Yeah, thanks, Natalie. So yeah, we're really excited about these new bot heated bottling tanks we just came out with. We're here at uh, again the Hive Life conference. We've been selling a ton of these things here. Uh, they hold 18 gallons of water jacketed tank, so you get warm water all around your honey on all sides or all around and at the bottom so that's kind of the ideal way to heat your honey rather than having just an element going through it that kind of scorches it on one side uh, or just at the bottom or whatever instead of having the heat evenly all around the honey so that's really what you want to do um, so yeah the whole 18 gallon water jacket at 110 volts some of our competitors models are a 220 volt where it doesn't plug into a regular household outlet so that's not too convenient but yeah the 110 volt is really nice digital controller gives you almost infinite temperature range um, just a really nice tank you know we got a really nice bottling gate on here that gets you almost a drip it's pretty much a dripless gate it really works good yep uh, so we're really excited to take this home uh, we'll definitely make some more videos on it maybe using it for sure and so we're really excited about it and it was really great sales here to the conference so that's cool. Um, how have you been doing with selling stuff? I mean, you know. You know yeah, it's, it's just been unbelievable. I mean, we've had a great yeah. time. Yeah, we've been running hard. Don't hardly have time to take a bathroom break or eat, yeah. eat lunch or anything. It's just been amazing. There's a great group of people here. Yeah. People are really engaged, really eager to be here, really eager to buy, really eager to learn. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've been really blessed, really thankful. So uh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, but if you weren't able to come, you should definitely come next year. Or you'll be here next year, maybe. You sure? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, if you want to come see John next year, he'll be here, hopefully. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll head on to the next person. All right, thanks, Natalie. You excited about the conference? You have a good time? Anyways, it was great. Was that a Cayman move? That's what Cayman would say. <laughs> This has been an amazing conference. So many people, getting to meet a lot of people, a lot of our viewers, getting to say hello and, mm -hmm. and shake hands and take pictures. Same for you, probably. Yeah. Uh, the place is just absolutely packed and the vendors are incredible. There are so many vendors and they are selling lots and lots of gear. You always selling t-shirts too? We're selling a lot of t-shirts. And, and that's great for the vendors because next year they'll be fighting for spots instead of Cayman having to fight to get them here. So, really a good thing. Was there nine, 850 people? Yeah, something like, something like that. Yeah, a lot of people. I think uh, because of the snow and all, some some weren't able to make it. So I think it was shy, maybe 50 or so. But yeah, something like that. There's still a whole convention center full of people in there. You probably see it on the video. Mm -hmm. Amazing conference. 
great speakers. Uh, I haven't, I've been visiting with so many people that I haven't been able to listen to any of the speakers, so I'm going to have to buy the CD just to see how it all went. And I wanted to see Cayman's performance at the Bluegrass show, but we went out to eat with him. And as soon as he was done eating, he took off and left us at the table. So me and my wife and Fred Dunn and his wife got to visit for a little while last night, and that was nice. But um, great conference. Yeah, sure. You seem really tall right now. <laughs> Seems I'm bending so over short. a little bit, so I really? can get a little, yeah, yeah. Um, there you go, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Anyways. Anyways, this has been great. <laughs> great. Anyways. <laughs> the only, I think the one thing that Cayman's got going for him is uh, he's, he's a pretty good mandolin player. Did you get to uh, catch yeah, him last night? Yeah, that was, that was you, really good. Do you have, do you have any uh, constructive criticism for his mandolin playing? Well, I joke around all the time. He has sausage fingers. Yeah. I mean, his fingers are so weird. Yeah. So I was about to get on to him about that last night, but I didn't end up seeing him. I'm surprised he can actually do that. But I mean, it was weird, yeah. I thought I thought it was a great show. I was a little disappointed, though. I kept yelling, Freebird, and they just kept looking at me like, really? You know, it's <laughs> just, know, just one of those things. But... Uh, well, Natalie, thanks for coming by and, and yeah, saying hi. I really me. enjoy your channel, and you've got great thanks. folks, and they seem like they're doing a pretty good job raising you for the most part. Yeah. But uh, after all this this YouTube fame and things, I mean, are you you're gonna move out and go on your own and just leave them high and dry? Yeah, or? for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you. Best. But uh, just remember, uh, it's a long walk home. Yeah. So just right. make sure you take care of mom and dad. Thanks. <laughs> well, if you guys want to check out Natalie, if you don't already know about Natalie. Um, and her family's YouTube channel, Beekeeping Like Her Girl. Check it out. Uh, give them a thumbs up, like, throw them a comment. And uh, thanks again for, Thank uh, for stopping by me. and saying hi. Happy Bee Man, and we were able to meet him. Super excited about being at the conference. So, what do you think of the conference so far? I think it's great. Um, last year we had, you know, probably about 250 people, three, four vendors. It, COVID was going on, so we kind of had to kick things a little bit slower. And you know, first year out, it was a, a real good learning experience for yeah. Cayman. So, uh, um, you know, I, I think this year's conference has just been off the charts um yeah. you know I, I i've been telling people hey this is like the super bowl of beekeeping events right now let's rewind that this is like the daytona 500 of beekeeping events because the daytona kicks off nascar's season everything else right well for this one right here we just kicked off the 2022 uh, beekeeping season with a really awesome mm -hmm. event yeah for sure but but Enough of the event. My question is, how did you enjoy the drive here? How did you end up being here? I mean, what what drew you to come be here? That's what I want to know. Um, all of it. I mean, uh, it's a huge conference, so there's going to be a lot of people here. And um, mainly the reason I'm here is because Cayman uh, told you know, the only reason we found out about it is mainly from Cayman. And uh, I think mainly because last year, we went to last year, and it was just so good that we decided to come this year. Nothing compared to last year. It was amazing. So, and, and the overall, it really just surprised you, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. uh, I knew there was going to be a lot of people here. I couldn't really imagine it, but now that I'm really seeing it, it's crazy. Huh? Okay. So, now that I'm interviewing you for your fans on your channel, um, you've been keeping help bees how long? For six years. This is our sixth year. Six years. Yeah. And you're like, what, 15? I'm 13. 13? Yeah. You've been doing this since you were seven? Eight. And a half? Yeah, something like that. Oh, my God. I, I mean, listen, I'm old, but I mean, my math, I mean, I'm so many fingers that I got here, right? All right, work with me or be patient. So I'm thinking, okay, so eight and a half and that many. Holy cow. I've been doing this for like 10 years, and you're just about to pass me up. No, I mean, I'm kidding. This is so insane. I'm being interviewed by a 13-year-old who's got a bigger channel than I do. I guarantee you has got to be bigger than me. But uh, anyway, um, so you think you'll be back here next year, and I think I'll be back here next year. Yep. So what are we going to do next year that's going to, like, overly wow everybody for this event? Um, what, what, give me something to look forward to coming and seeing you again. 
pretty much everything about me is pretty cool. So that's true. That, that's true. Uh, I think that's an amazing answer. I actually. just want to know. I want you to know. No, I kidding. came all the way up here from Alabama because I heard I heard you were going to be here, and I'm like, man, I got to get an autographed no. sock or something, a hat. I know you. Do you have like souvenir hats? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Oh man, it's okay. I shirt, so I have a beekeeping like a girl shirt. You want to just kidding. No, you don't. Yeah, I will rock a beekeeping like a girl <laughs> shirt. No lie, I want one. But uh, anyway, well, um, I, I I appreciate you kind of you know coming yeah, in and see me. It, it's very humbling when um, when you know I put some content out there and I just do I do it for fun and you know to have somebody that comes along and says hey yappy and I'm like hey and they're like hey can I talk and I'm like yeah and now you understand why they call me yappy right? But, uh, yes, uh, for sure. But anyway, yeah. so. Um, we gotta end this thing up. We gotta do yeah. like do the handshake. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? all right. Now watch this, you guys. You ready? Because this is I, like... I practice this. Okay, you ready? Bam, 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 boom! All right, there you go. Perfect. Let's do this again um, next year, and um, I'll dress pretty or something like that. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll leave his channel so that you can go check it out. Uh, but thanks for doing this with me. No, I appreciate you asking. And uh, y'all, get ready for beekeeping 2022. Here we go. Bye. So that was the end of the hive life and really had an amazing time. Didn't film a whole lot just because I was kind of focused on talking to people and having conversation, which I really enjoyed. Thanks for coming up to me and talking to me and hopefully you'll be able to come next year. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, also I want to say a big thank you to Cayman and Laurel. You guys put together an amazing conference that a lot of people are talking about and it was really, really good. So congratulations on that. And um, also another thing, I was able to take a lot of pictures with a lot of really cool beekeepers and YouTubers. So I'm going to leave their channel in the description down below if you want to check it out. And I think that was pretty much all I was going to mention. So thanks for watching this video. Also, before we end this, I just want to say there's a lot of other amazing videos out there like Mike Berry and Castle Hives, Bruce's Bees, and I think it's pronounced Bohemian Bees something like that. They have a really good video out there on the hive life if you want to check it out just because I wasn't able to film a whole lot. But anyways, so thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping Like a Girl.